Hey guys and welcome back. This is a continuation to the Automatron DLC. Sorry to leave you guys in haste and um, on suspense, but I was I had to make sure that the recording was working, and it was at about 20 minutes. So I wanted to not keep that, make that video super long. So that being said, let's kill some robots. Yeah, there we go, companion. Oh no, oh no, a legendary robot. Haven't encountered one of those yet. Other than, like, I mean, other than a synth, of course. Let me just say. Oh, okay. Of course he had to blow up. I think my ro robot almost blowed up, blowed up there. What the heck? Sweet. More mods. Um. Okay. It's just the exit. These guys aren't very nice. Oh no. I think I had a jetpack. Where are you, nerd? Is he a nerd? Okay. That guy does not look friendly. That's all you gotta do. That's why you get the robotics hack. Is he shooting me through a door? Hey, I got I got something to tell you, bud. Oh wait. Uh, see you, nerd. <laughs> that is so much fun. I didn't realize how much you need robotics, but I'm happy I just got robotics expert yesterday. So definitely I recommend getting that, 100%. I gotta figure out how to get to that guy. That's the thing. There we go. I don't know what we have to do next. Pre-war money, nice. I kind of feel I have time to explore more, but I'll probably just continue the storyline. So we can get through the walkthrough quick and easy. Let's go back and uh, dump some parts off. What do I have to do now, though? Oh. Classic. I gotta go talk to her. And where did I send her? She... Oh. Castle. Alright. I was gonna say, if she didn't show up on my map, we'd be in a little bit of trouble. So I don't know where I sent her. I think I have to open this to get out.
Just let me get out of this place. Where the heck am I supposed to go? There we go. There you go, buddy. Buddy, no, no, follow me. Follow me, follow me. Slow turn, bud. It's okay. I feel terrible f killing other robots in front of him. It's gonna scar him. He's my little baby robot. We're gonna upgrade him when we get back to. Hopefully, I should go buy some uh, a shipment of aluminum so I can upgrade him even more because there was some stuff that I wanted to get that I couldn't just because I didn't have enough aluminum parts. Oh, a tip, by the way, I wanted to tell you guys a location where you can get a ton of aluminum. I explored this place yesterday. Um, it is the most aluminum probably I've ever found in the game in one area. It is called Macro Fish Packing. Now, I definitely recommend being a high level to go here. I'll just keep it up so you guys can see. It's near Coastal Cottage and sort of close to Dunwich Boars, if you know where that is. Top right-hand corner of the map. Um... There is about 80 trays of aluminum there, but the only downside is that there is a ton of synths, and they're pretty high level, because I was in my X01, I have almost a full X01 set of power armor, except for one leg piece, and I was still getting hit pretty well with it on. So I recommend being anywhere from, I would say, I don't know, maybe 35 to 50 would be a very good range. If you want to go explore there and go get a ton of aluminum for this DLC or just in general because, you know, you need aluminum pretty much for everything, including upgrading guns, power armor, and building the robots. So, yeah, uh, make sure you're pretty high level if you go there. And let me think, is there any other scavenging places other than that? Also, one other thing for that, um, make sure you have a ton of space because it's aluminum trays and they take up about... I think one weight per one, so that's a lot of stuff, um, it's a lot of, of your weight amount that takes up, so make sure you free that up so you can take all of it at once or two runs. Alright, dump that stuff in there, let's upgrade this, this boy. Get over here. Yeah, go check that out. Here you go. What are you doing? Come on, Tom Sean 16. Check it out. Check it out. Over here. Over here. What is he doing? I don't know. He's not he's not freaking listening at all. I love that I can just like self destruct robots. It's awesome. But, okay, this is what you do. You move. Why is, why is he not going where I want him to? He's being a jerk. I don't think I can have him do specific commands yet. Because I'm not... Once I level up one more time, I should be able to, though. Uh, anyways, let's go talk to that other girl I sent away, the other robot who gave us the last mission, and figure out what we have to do next. I have to say, all of those pre-routine um, help or grinding for this game was definitely worth it. The weapons that I'm using are just destroying the other robots, so I definitely recommend 
following my advice on the first video for the stuff that you should try to get uh, both the magazines, the weapons, and yeah, the other things. I don't think I said anything else. I sent her into Sanctuary Hills, so hopefully she goes there and I don't have to come back, because that would be a pain in my butt. I think the next DLC for this is like some sort of arena type thing. I think it's coming out in May, and then I know the third one is a apparently the biggest DLC that they have ever had in a Bethesda game, so... I don't know if that's really saying much, because no offense, but Bethesda uh, DLC, they don't suck. They're fun, they're just pretty small usually. So, I mean, at least it's better than normal, but I don't really know to what scale. Oh, she actually follows. Why is... I feel like the door is like... What the heck? There we go. That doorway was like... supposed to do now is it a special thing I have to do it looks like it uh, what what do I have to do how do I install the radar beacon though I don't know how to do this Just build another workbench because this lady is not very nice. She's standing in my way. Okay. You can always scrap the other one.
follow me. Why can't I ch why can't I craft? Yeah. Well, I don't know what's wrong with this. Was it because I'm in power armor maybe? I don't know why this is taking so long. Obnoxious. Alright, let's empty this out real quick. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I don't know what the problem is. It isn't very clear though. It's one thing that this game can be annoying. I think I just have to empty. Alright. There we go. That was annoying. Okay. How do I... There we go. Oh, <laughs> you like me a little bit too much there. I should set up you two, Codsworth and Ada. I got it. Oh, that was a lot of XP though. That's worth it. Alright. Ooh, headhunting. Nice. Alright, let's get cheese out. My weapon. From the workshop. can just make it to my power armor. I should really get that one where you can sprint, but I've been upgrading other stuff like Robotics Expert that I really needed. So next next time after this level, because I still have to upgrade to Robotics Level 3, I'll probably upgrade that. Where's my other robot though? He left me. I think I might have left him at the other area. Well, let's go kill the second um, main robot that we need to or whatever. And then we'll worry about the other stuff later. Because otherwise I'm not going to have like any carrier space. That's the one thing that's annoying about having a companion. Is just the amount of space that you can have. Because without it I have the perk where it allows you to do like a ton of more damage and um, have a ton of more carry space. So I usually travel without a companion. But the robot looks pretty cool, so once um, once I upgrade that some more, I'll probably be using him a lot more as a companion. It's definitely cool looking though, better than human companions. I'm still kinda trying to figure out what side or faction to side with. Um, because I'm kind of with all of them right now, but I have to, I'm at the point where I kind of have to make a decision. But I feel like the Institute are just a bunch of jerks. But like the um, the Brotherhood of Steel, they're like kind of the end justifies the mean kind of principles where they do bad stuff but in the order for good. Whereas the Institute just kind of does bad stuff. And I don't know about the Minutemen. I kind of find them to be kind of lame, to be honest. Um, 
see what kind of weapon I should use here. Let's probably just get out my pistol. Probably gonna explode. Yep. It's pretty much a low level sentry bot. Okay. Oh, uh, let's go collect other stuff from this guy. Get through this quickly. I've gotten already most of the trophies. Like I said, it's kind of a short DLC, but it's it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. That guy was easier to kill than the other ones. Okay. I think I have to kill one more after this. I thought she said three heads or beacons or whatever. We got two. That's the second one. Hopefully my other companion stayed at the castle. He was kind of stupid to be honest. I don't, he's not very smart. He's pretty beast though. He got the, you know, he got the saw arm, which is pretty awesome. I'm impressed. All right, let's talk to her. Why are you in the plants? Oh no. Oh. Uh. see where that is on the map. Probably gonna end the video here because it sounds like it's probably gonna take a while. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. I'll catch you guys in the next one for the continuation of part three of the Atomatron DLC. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel.